The world we inhabit is not as free, or certain, or safe as you might think. The things that you believe to be unassailably evident are little more than shadows dancing behind a curtain. A masquerade, crafted, and dutifully upheld by an organization known as the Foundation. The file you are about to hear contains containment procedures, descriptions, testing logs, historical and in some cases first-hand accounts of the anomalous objects the Foundation serves to secure, contain, and protect. Its contents have been thoroughly scrutinized by the Ethics Committee and approved by the O5 Council for release to trusted associates of the Foundation. This is SCP Unredacted. Item number, SCP-6994, Object Class, Euclid, Explained, Keter, Archive Containment Procedures, SCP-6994-EX is to be monitored in its natural habitat. Members of Task Force Epsilon-7, Kings of Crabs, are to stop and redirect any fishing or commercial vessels attempting to enter the area. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-6994 is to be contained in a large aquatic containment cell filled with 33 parts per million salinity seawater. No recreation, comfort, or non-essential sustenance is to be given to SCP-6994 under any circumstances. SCP-6994 instances showing perceived resistance or malice towards Foundation staff should be executed immediately. Description SCP-6994 is the species Bathonomus bisatinus, a form of giant isopod native to the eastern seaboard of the United States and Canada. SCP-6994 bears superficial resemblance to non-anomalous species of giant isopod. SCP-6994's biology deviates from other cephalopods in several key ways. SCP-6994 possesses spinnerets akin to terrestrial spiders, and use them to secrete a viscous and adhesive fluid. SCP-6994 use this fluid to build shelters, as well as to construct sacks of water to aid in onshore exploration. SCP-6994 also have four large scythe-like forelimbs, similar to mantid terrestrial predators. These forelimbs are used primarily for bursts of locomotion, as well as hunting and defense from predators. Lastly, SCP-6994 possesses almost human-like levels of sapience. SCP-6994 utilizes a symbol-based communication method, consisting of both written pictograms and in-person symbols and pantomime using their forelimbs. Addendum 1 During construction on a more permanent on-site holding cell for SCP-6994, new fossil records were found in the seafloor surrounding SCP-6994's habitat. Such records indicated that SCP-6994 was non-anomalous and merely an evolutionary relative of traditional aquatic isopods. These findings were considered dubious by head researcher Geraldo Bannock, who ordered further research on the subject. A pair of divers captured and vivisected an instance of SCP-6994 to ascertain its biological makeup. DNA samples and physical similarities showed SCP-6994 was a direct evolution of ancient isopods and it was deemed non-anomalous and reclassified as SCP-6994-EX. Incident Report On 17 July 2020, four swimmers were reported missing at Salisbury Beach, Massachusetts. Following a further search, SCP-6994 spinneret threads were located along with tracks leading to an SCP-6994 constructed cave approximately 700 meters offshore. The swimmers' bodies were found inside, vivisected via SCP-6994's forelimbs and killed in a manner suggesting care and possible curiosity. Methods used by SCP-6994 appear identical to those used by Foundation agents during their initial dissection. Addendum 2 On 8 May 2021, Geraldo Bannock reclassified SCP-6994 to Keter, citing previously unseen evidence regarding the evolution of SCP-6994. Following this, more stringent containment procedures were enacted, involving frequent cullings and transfer to on-site containment. Access Skip Net Email One New Message To Geraldo Bannock, Senior Researcher from Adongo Tajani, Ethics Committee Chairman. Subject, 
SCP-6994-EX. Dr. Bannock. As Ethics Committee Chairman, I know that separating emotions from your work is difficult, but this is too far. SCP-6994 is non-anomalous, and to treat it as a threat for personal reasons is both dishonest and morally reprehensible. I know it's hard, but what you're doing is wrong. We've seen the documents you've put forward, the forged crash reports, the dubious containment breaches, the terrible things that these isopods have clearly never done. You want so badly for them to be some XK monsters, Geraldo, but they're not. They're just bugs. Bugs that killed people, sure. Bugs that killed someone you care about. But they're just bugs. We've all made sacrifices. I know your daughter was on the beach that day. But when we take it out on the anomalies, it's too far. We secure and contain the anomalies. But we must also protect them. I'm moving to reclassify SCP-6994 back to EX. Thank you for listening to this podcast. If you like what you hear, follow the link in the description to patreon.com slash SCP Unredacted and help support me by becoming a patron for as little as $3 a month. You can get access to production logs, merchandise, recognition, and even a part in a skip. Regardless of tier, all patrons get early access to every single episode. I don't have the talent it takes to write a skip. All I do is read. Original authors make this podcast possible, so credit to the original author. Their link's in the description. Show them some love as well. Consider becoming a member of the SCP Wiki. I'll vote their work and maybe write a skip of your own. Maybe I'll read it here someday. You never know if you never try. The content of this podcast and content relating to the SCP Foundation, including the SCP Foundation logo, is licensed under Creative Commons Sharealike 3.0, and all concepts originate from scpwiki.com and its authors. This recording, being derived from this content, is hereby also released under Creative Commons Sharealike 3.0.